Remember teaching us about um, um, use, making use of a pre-mode patterns. So that's what I am going to be doing this morning. So we are going to be using this. Now, if you are watching this program live, you stand the uh, um, privilege of actually having this PDF file to yourself. So if you are actually watching me live, please let me know where you are watching from. And also let me know what your email address is. And then after the live session, I will be sending the PDF file of this keto design to you. Please, this is for those who are watching me live. So I'm going to be showing us how you can make use of um, your patterns, how you can make use of um, um, a pre-made pattern to actually create different designs. Now, be, be, I mean, be, to uh, how you can actually make use of them, not to create different designs now. But at the same time, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually increase this particular pattern. Now, if you have this, let's start with that before we go into fully how to create our keto sander. You understand? Now, if you have this, and then um, this is actually supposed to be for size size 26 for example european size 26 it acts a length of about 16.4 centimeter if you want to increase this how do i increase it how do i reduce it i'm sure you want to see the magic just wait and let me begin to show you how to do that Now, as you can see, you're welcome to my live session. I'm going to be showing you today how you can actually make use of this particular pattern, how you can increase and reduce it for different sizes. I'll be showing you also how to go about upper creation. If you're watching me live, make sure you let me know in the comment section where you're watching from and also your email address. I'm going to be sending this to you and you are going to be doing the same thing that I'm going to be teaching in this live session. I need you to know that with a particular design, you can actually create so much more. So it's not like, oh, when I have a design, I have to sit down and begin to draft them for the for the other for the other size no 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 so with what i have here this is actually for size 26 and then here is my size 26 last let me place it on it for you to see what it looks like so this is what i have with my size 26 you can see what it looks like i'm sure you can see what this looks like now, if I'm going to be using it for a smaller size, let's say like size 24, what do I do to this particular shape? Now, this is what you are going to do. You definitely need a totally different um, cardboard or carton to do this. So, let's say I'm actually having this particular carton right here. Let's say this is what I have. Now, what we make it perfectly size it, what we make this perfectly size and fit a smaller size like size 24, for example, is the fact that this length has to reduce. So the question is, how do I now reduce the length of what I have right here? So what are we going to do to reduce the length, um, the length of this? Please, if you are watching me, please let me know where you are watching from. Ensure you comment. You are going to be having access to this particular PDF file. Let me know your email address and I will send this particular PDF, this particular pattern to you. All you need to do is download it and increase it into different sizes like I'm going to be teaching you in this live session. So please don't forget to let me know where you are watching me from and also make sure you put your email address right there if you would love to actually have access to this particular pattern and then be able to increase it or reduce it like I'll be showing you right here. So what I have here is actually for size 26, like I said. Since this is for size 26, ensure that... Um, when you want to reduce it, you are going to reduce the length. You know, I showed us initially what it looks like on this size 26. If you are watching me, please let me know where you're watching from. Don't forget to let me know. And also put your email address. I'll be sending this particular size 26 pattern to you. It's like a keto sander. And I'm going to be showing you how you can reduce and increase it. This is unisex. And a boy can wear, a girl can wear. You can combine the colors in so many ways. You understand? So let's quickly go right into how to reduce first 
first of all, how do I reduce it? So what am I going to do to reduce? This is what you should do. Of course, you definitely have to first of all duplicate this on this. So let's duplicate first before we begin to do anything to this. So we have this. Please watch this carefully so that by the time I send you the PDF file, you will be able to also do the same thing. This is one of the advantages of actually having a pattern template. When you have a pattern template, you can actually reduce it. You can actually increase it. But I find that so many people do not know this. Please do me a favor of sharing this particular live broadcast. Let others to enjoy. All I want to do is just to educate us this morning. All I want to do is educate you. That's all I want to do. So you can see what I have here. Thank you. Thank you, Gift from Lagos. Thank you for watching me live from Lagos. All right. So from what I have right here, I'm going to be reducing this to a smaller size. And I'm sure somebody is wondering, okay, what are we going to do to reduce it? Now, the first thing that you are going to be looking at is this back pattern. Definitely a child that is actually wearing size 26. It, it, um, 26 is definitely for um, about three years of age. Of course, every child has different, um, you know, they have some, some, some of them, their foot are long, some their foot are wide. So, Basically, you are going to be you you are going to be having size twenty six for ages like um three years to two years. Some of course four years may be wearing that if they have a small leg. Now, if you are watching me, let me know where you're watching from. I have told us, please let me know where you're watching from. Let me know your email address. I'm going to be sending this to your email address. And you are going to be also using it to reduce and increase. It's so amazing that you can use this pattern template to actually, actually increase to create an adult pattern. I'm telling you what it is. So now that we have done this, the, the first thing we are going to be considering is, like I said, 26 is for age, age three. Now, if I'm going to reduce it to 24, 24 is for about age, um, like two years, some one year old, 18 months also wear size 24. So it means that when you are considering their own back pattern, it's not going to be same. Because if you look at just this part, let's say I cover up this part. This looks like a back pattern, right? Does it look like a back pattern? Please, I need you to respond to me. Does it look like a back pattern? Okay, let's say I cover this this way. This side definitely looks like a back pattern. Is that not it? So because it looks more like a back pattern, we are going to be reducing this particular space at the back A. That's what we are going to be doing. So by the time I reduce this, it becomes shorter. I hope you know it's going to become shorter. So how do I do that? Let me quickly show you that. So I know by the time I do this, you will also be able to do this on any other design. So with what I have here, you can see what the width is right now. By the time I push it right inwards, just make sure you push it right inwards. You can see it's going inwards. Can you see that? Now, if you are not sure of how much you should actually move inwards. Let me give you a, a unique clue that you can use to do that, especially if the child you are working with is around you. Now, let's assume this is the side, this is the child's leg. This is the ankle. Let's say this is the baby's ankle, the child's ankle. Even if it's an adult, this is their ankle at, the, at this point. The ankle is also, I mean, the, the yes, the knee bone, I mean, is also a. The knee bone is here. The knee bone is also here. Yes, thank you, Madam Fatima. Thank you so much for watching. Now, this particular part is actually also the, the knee bone. What you are going to do is pick up your measuring tape. Pick up your measuring tape. Now, this is the ankle. Let's assume this is the ankle bone right here. Place this on the ankle bone right here. Come to this side and also check where the ankle bone is. Now, on top of the two ankle bones, probably the distance is like 10 centimeters, for example. Is that not it? So if what we have is 10 centimeters, this is what that means. It means that the distance from here, this middle distance right here, I mean this middle distance right here, is 
is supposed to be about 10 centimeters. That is what it actually literally means. I hope you are getting what I'm trying to say. So what do you do? By the time you measure it, whatever it is, that is what you should use as this opening here. That is what you should use as this opening here. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. So definitely, I'm just going to, or better still, you can just reduce and check on the child's feet. You can just reduce this by about one centimeter. So I can suggest that you reduce it by one centimeter. You can see the way I move it in. It was this way initially. So I just moved in that direction. You understand? So just move about one centimeter away. Then you join this again here. Please just follow me on this. You can see it has actually joined with this. With this, I have actually reduced it. Now, if I want to reduce this width as well, I can decide to reduce the width. I can also decide to reduce the width. Don't forget that we are no more using this one. We are no more using this. We are no more using this. So you can see what I have right there. That is what I'm actually going to trim out just for you to see. Another part of it that you might also want to reduce can actually be this particular side. side. But before you do that, I'm going to suggest since you have reduced this, check and be sure it's perfect for your 26 before you go ahead and then um, actually um, go to this side and say, okay, let me reduce this particular, this particular point. So, I'm just trying to make sure we see what I'm doing properly. So, from what I have here, what are we doing next? I'm just going to trim this out for us to see. So, like I said, we are just going to, I'm just trying to position this for us to see. Yes, good morning, Doris Praise. Thank you for joining my live session. So, we are just trying to actually reduce this particular design to suit what we are creating. I'm trying to show us how to do that. All right.
so let me quickly cut sorry for that i'm just trying to do to set the camera up properly for us all to see so sorry for that so you will find out that it's now smaller it's now smaller so i'm just going to go ahead like i said you can work on this other side as well and make it smaller but before that let's check this out and be sure it's gonna be perfect for our size 24. so this is what we have here So don't forget to let me know where you're watching me from. Don't forget, let me know where you're watching me from. And then, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with us the pattern template. So let me just quickly see what um, our size 24 will definitely look like. Now, let me um, show us um, our initial design before we reduced now this was what we had initially and this was what we reduced it to now let's see now if you look at it you can you can it you can easily see that it's now um shorter as you can see it's shorter now so this is basically what you can do to reduce this kind of a design now before i conclude on that let's quickly check what it looks like let me be sure that this is actually because the two shoulders are different, as you can see. This is more like for this is for a covered shoe. This is for sandals. So their shapes are always different, and then you find that that is almost as long as twenty six. Because now covered shoes tends to be a bit longer than when you are making a sandal. So that's why you find that, that this has twenty four, this has twenty six. A lot of things to actually learn on this live session. So if you're watching me, let me know where you're watching from. Share your email address if you would like to actually have access to this particular pattern template and you're going to be using what you watch from here thank you oh godwin you're watching from ouch it's nice to have you here so please let me know in your email address and i'm going to be sending this particular size 26 to you and as you watch this video you will be able to actually create this on your own i will be able to create this now let's check this on a size 24 last so that we can see what it looks like so you can see what it looks like let's see if this will perfectly work on this so you can see are you following me right there now see what it looks like can you see what it looks like isn't this amazing now i need you to know that um when it comes to all of these designs and uh, there are actually simple ways which you can actually achieve what you want. You can see what it looks like. Now, if I think this is actually too wide, I can also reduce the width. You don't have to maintain the same width for, for a three-year-old and then um, a two-year-old to like um, a, a year old. You understand? Hey. So please, we can also trim. So I can decide to trim a little, suss a little out of this. Just a little out of this. Just a little out of this. You understand? You can trim. And also, another thing you can also do, like I said, is you can actually decide to reduce it at this point as well. Oh, thank you so much, Doris. Thank you for letting me know. It's lovely. I actually love the design so much. I felt I should share with us this morning. So... It means that we are good to go with this, except we just felt, oh, it's quite long, and I don't think so. I don't think this is quite long. Isn't this amazing? All I did was just reduce the, the, the back part, the, the opening at the back, you understand? And then if you don't want this much of a width, you can also reduce the width. But I think for keto sanders such as this, they are always beautiful with a wide, you know, side like this. So... 
I don't think you should in any way reduce it. So with this, we already have size 24. I'm sure you know that if we want to increase, uh, so please suggest to me, if I'm increasing, what do you think I'm going to be doing to this particular design? If I'm increasing, what will I be doing to it? So what will I be doing to it? Because if I increase right here, at the, when I, if, if I reduce here, when I was trying to reduce the size, if I'm increasing, what am I going to do? Please let me know what I'm going to be doing before I go right into it. Please don't forget to like this particular live session. Please like, please share, please, so that others too can come and view and um, learn as well. So we are back to increasing. Let's say we are going to size 28 right now. Before we actually did 26 to 24, which is reduction. So let's go to size 28 right now. What do I do to achieve that? Now let's go. I have this here. I'm just going to duplicate. I mean, you know, the same design right here. Increasing this back space, I told us earlier. If you're watching me, please don't just watch. Please like this live session. Please share. Please just do me that favor of sharing. And also, let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know your email address. If you would love to have access to this particular pattern template, and you are going to be using this same process to actually create your own in different sizes, just like I am doing on this live session so don't forget i am still your shoemaker made easy to the old to rule i know some people are just probably seeing me for the first time all i do is make shoe making easy and simple for you if you are thinking creating a skill you are right in the right place if you are thinking how to market and how to close your sales you're on the right channel so like i have here i have a um, um, size 26 for this keto sander now what am i going to do i'm just going to go ahead and then um, break it up and increase it so let's go ahead and do that so from what i have here you can see what i have here so because i'm going from 26 to 28 i'm going to just be increasing by one centimeter so it means when i position it this way i'm going to increase it by about one centimeter make sure the space here at the point of increase is about one, um, one centimeter as well. So with that, you are good to go. You are good to go. Please, the pattern template is going to be for people who are watching me live. Yes, if you're watching me live, yes, you have that chance. You have that chance. And make sure you comment so that at least I will know that you're watching me live comment so that i'll know you're watching me live so with what i have here don't forget this is the extension so try to cross the side that is not part of so that you will definitely know what to what to trim so with this i'm going to go ahead and trim make sure you have two different scissors never use the scissors you are using for your carton carton also on your leather no it will it will get blunt very fast so I'm going to trim also before we now go into how do I now create this upper, how do I fix everything. I'm going to really be showing us a lot on this live session. So just stay with me and see what the transformation is going to look like. So don't forget to let me know where you're watching me from. Please like this video. Please share. 
please share 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 make sure you share it if you are sharing on facebook you can tag me you can tag me so that we know that yes yes you really shared this so now let's let's see what it looks like don't forget that we actually no we are not going to be using this we're not going to be using this let's use let's say we are using this for example please don't forget this is for like a covered shoe is not for sanders but let me use it just to show us first so with this now let's see now the, this is what the back look like you can see what the back look like so you can see where this is wow <laughs> it looks quite you understand smaller it looks quite smaller but let me quickly check if i can get the sander i mean the sander pattern the one that is actually um size 28 for sanders Okay, so let me let me see this. You can if you look at this, this is for covered shoe. Now, if you look at this, you find out that you see that the covered shoe is longer. So let's say we are using this one for our 28 because this is actually much more longer, much more, much more longer than 28. But because it's covered shoe now, it's always longer. This is about 18 centimeter. Wow. So But that notwithstanding, let me let you know that if you are intending to actually, you know, use this kind of size and you find out that when you increase it, it was not um, what you want. You understand? If you find out that it's not, it's not at the position you would love it to be, it's not a crime, please. You can increase this bath pattern more. You can increase it more. So when you increase it, it moves up a little bit more and then you will be able to you know have this one this way so let me just also do that let's increase it more so it doesn't matter whatever what it is just increase that part and then you are good to go like i said so let me increase it a bit more it means that increase is not enough so it's not a crime to actually do that and don't forget as long as you have the pattern you don't have to cut all over again all you need to do is try the sizes on it this is what happened when you have pattern templates i'm telling you this is what happens so So this now, I will just move it now. I'm going to move it. I think it's just a bit. It's not really much. This is not what we need. Don't forget. This is also not what we need. So let me quickly trim that out. And let's see what we are having. So you can also add this if you so desire you can add to that part as well so
so with this now let's look at what it looks like here don't forget i've increased it more so this is how you can check just check i've taught us how we can turn the ankle to ankle so i don't think that should be a problem in any way for anybody here so with this now can you see what i have you see that it has already been adjusted this is just amazing this has already been adjusted so you can see what it is you can see what this really is so it means that the more you adjust it you find out that it will look like what you want i think the only thing that's left is just um, our strap that is supposed to be right here and then um, of course that will also come with your pattern and you continue to exchange that so i can decide to actually say okay i think i'm supposed to check this i'm supposed to check it on this so now you can see what it looks like on the size 28 itself you understand so you can see what it looks like so the strap is still going to come be coming out outside like i said and most times it holds the ankle that's the unique thing about this particular template it holds the ankle perfectly well so now i believe you already know how to go about the pattern with the pattern template please note it's only those who are actually on this live session only those who comment only those who comment will actually join will be able to receive this please i think um all you need to do is just let me have your email address and then um, i'm going to definitely send this to you i'm going to send this to you so just relax let me know where you're watching me from and then we can go ahead now since i have this it means I have totally new sets of patterns. That's what it means. I have like three different sets, three different sizes, and then I'm good to go. Anytime I want to walk, all I need to do is just pick and then, you know, use it. You can actually increase this until you go to an adult. Now, if this is 28, for example, you can actually, I've talk, I've, I think I've explained the ankle to ankle, measure the ankle to ankle bone for the, the the adult size make sure that it's represent this opening at the back then you go ahead and then adjust this part a bit more and then you are good to go even with for an adult size so let's now go to our upper now so i'm going to go ahead now another thing i need you to know with this kind of design is that you are going to be using a lot of leather because the way the shape look like except you intend to divide it yes except you want to divide probably you just want to divide this side and then you want to insert it back into it after you can actually do that it means you trace this place down trace it perfectly well so by the time you want to st before stitching all of them you will have actually stitched this side first then you insert into this particular point where you you know um cut it off before then you stitch all together that's what you can actually do to this so that's what you can do to it if you want to um cut it but for me i won't be cutting it i think i prefer it this way although it's going to take um you know make my leather i'll be using more leather but then it's faster because one of those things you should consider when you're producing footwear is that of course you should consider your material but as much as possible learn to save time as well except you have enough hands to be able to work you know on whatever you know production you are actually making so i'm going to try as much as possible to see how i can locate at, at to position it i in short i used to take my time to actually know where to position so that I don't end up wasting, you know, a lot of leather. You can see how this looks like now. You may not be able to even position another one here again. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. I mean, yes, draw left and right.
so you can see that's what you are just going to do immediately you receive the um, pdf file what you are just going to do is you are going to print out now in the pdf file i i will definitely i might have to you know divide this side so that you can easily print it on an a4 paper you understand i might have to divide that side you know cut it through like that so that you can actually you know print it on an a4 paper so what you do is you are going to actually cut use this side differently i mean cut this part differently cut this part differently and if you want to insert it back you can actually do that because i'll make sure there is an extra allowance where you can easily insert i will mark those parts you know where you can insert so that you can be able to actually go you know enjoy your put if you want to put it together and if you want to use it separately definitely you can also use it separately so it doesn't really matter but i want you to be able to print it on an a4 paper but i actually need you to put your let me know, have your email address if you so desire trust me this is a free will thing i am not forcing you <laughs> i'm not forcing you don't force people to give them gifts you know <laughs> so i'm just going to position this and we're going to go ahead quite right, this thing can waste later come on can you imagine can you imagine me rolling around and rolling and rolling and rolling around yes it's time to trim to trim to trim to trim to trim to trim it's time to trim to trim so so tell me are you a beginner or you have how long have you actually been making footwear please let me know in the comment section how long have you been making footwear yeah how long like two years like three years you know it's so amazing that uh, <laughs> Some few days ago, I was just I was thinking about it that wow, I've not um, bought footwear for a long while now. Like seriously, yeah, I mean seriously. I think for over seven years now, I've not bought sander or eel wedge. How now? What will I be using it for? <laughs> Since I can make, I don't have to buy. So, if you are watching me for the first time and you are wondering, can I make this myself? I need you to know that you can. Because if I can, you can. Oh, gift you a beginner. Wow. But trust me, I'm sure you are going to be, you are finding this so interesting. Because with this particular kind of, um, with this particular kind of design, you can actually, you know, even cut out a back pattern from it. It's so amazing that you can cut out a back pattern from it. Can you see what I have here? If you want to cut a back pattern from it, just fold it this way. I mean, you want to cut a back pattern from it. Oh, illumination TV. Wow. Wow. Don't worry. I will work on how to measure your customer's leg in my next live session. Yeah, I will try and see how I can actually work on that for you. Although I have a video on that. So please, after this, after the live session, you can please remind me, illumination TV, please remind me and I will surely, you know, link you up with the video I actually used to teach on how you can measure your customer's food. You understand? And of course, I can actually do that on my live session too. So just watch out. So just watch out. So like I said, you can actually create a back pattern from what you have right here. Even if you don't have a back pattern, you can create one. You see the way I folded it, just trim it. I mean, Make use of your pen, trace it out. I am giving you wonderful arc from just this design that I'm sending to you. Please, it's just for, and if you don't comment, okay, okay, Illumination TV is what, washing me from a bad don. How is a bad don today? Wow, I ate a Malang Begri some few days ago. Hi, I love it. Come on. Oh, so I'm sure you are enjoying a lot of that right in a bad don. So, like I said, you are just going to fold this. You're going to, all of the eggs, you can trim it off. I mean, when you're positioning it, all those ones that you're saying, trim them, trim them. By the time you finish trimming it, you'll have a back pattern already. So this is not, that's why I said, when you have a particular pattern, 
you are just going to be amazed at how many kind of design you can create from it. It's so, so amazing. This is not, um, it's not like, oh, it's magic. There's no magic attached to it. All you need to do is just to learn to open your mind and see what you can create from whatever you have. Just open up your mind. You understand? We limit ourselves in so many ways, thinking we can, oh, I cannot do it, I cannot do it. Okay, if you have this now and you can bring out a back pattern, with this back pattern now, it means you can create any other back pattern because I've already taught you how you can increase this particular part of this particular design. So, please, I want you to know that when it comes to shoemaking, your ability to actually explore, your ability to connect with the right community, which is which part of it is where you are right now. I want you to know that I have so many videos on my channel. You, you should check out. You should check out. And of course, I'll be creating time for live sessions like this just to educate us on how we can improve our pattern cutting process because I find out that it seems to be one of the major, you know, challenges that we do have as a beginner. For me, I'm going to be taking my time on you beginners because I know nobody ever recovers from a very good foundation. If you have a good start, you don't recover from it. You understand? So I'm going to be ensuring that you get the best on my channel as a beginner. So for those who want to upgrade themselves, yes, you are quite welcome as well. It's not like I'm not going to be, you know, going into intermediate levels and um, like that. But trust me, if you're a beginner, it's actually a sweet place to be. You can imagine yourself telling somebody you are starting, you're just starting, probably you start just six months ago and then um, you, you, you have this kind of design. When you have it, I'm telling you, by the time you cut out this part, you begin to look at the remaining part and look at it and say, so, so, so how did they, what did they put together, right? Exactly what is right or A. You will be amazed. You understand? So <laughs> this isn't a child's play. It's not a child play. But please, only those on my live session will have access to the pattern templates. Please. I keep repeating this. So if you do not comment, don't expect don't expect i don't want to hear oh i was live i was there but as long as i can see your comments i can see only like four or five people commenting and then um, of course i've seen a lot of people in and out but then just make sure that if you are here and you are interested in that particular pattern just let me know and this is exactly what i i actually did with my pattern template ebook i have a pattern template ebook it has so many kind of pattern templates for adult for children and then um, all i am actually doing for those who bought i for those who bought and would love to create any other design if they send it to the class because if you purchase the ebook you are going to be having access to a free follow-up class what i do there is i teach you how to actually you know create so many other patterns from the patterns that is inside that pattern template ebook just look at how i just taught you how to actually like carve a pattern a back pattern template from what you have here so that's the same thing i try to do if you send any design to the class i explain how you can do it but i know so many of the people bought the pattern template tend not to understand that aspect of it but if you really want to increase your pattern cutting you know skill i believe that class is a good place to start with the pattern templates you already have because as a beginner you you might actually end up you know struggling a lot on how to cut pattern but with the class you with, with the free follow-up class when you purchase my pattern template ebook you can easily develop your pattern cutting skill if you have see another design you're like okay you send it to the class and say oh madam please so this is this design i saw please how do i go about it i try to use what you have inside that pattern template to actually teach you <laughs> how to create design and then for me it increases your creativity as a beginner yes that's those are the things that has really helped me in my shoemaking journey so that's exactly what i am actually sharing so if you have a pattern template ebook and then you have been shortchanging yourself by not asking me questions about pattern cutting in the class it's your fault oh, because if you ask me i will definitely answer i am not the kind of person who wants to have people in our class and not attend to them i attend to my i take my time to attend to my students so you can see what i have you can see what i have so i know somebody is wondering so what do we do with the pattern template you keep how do i collect it okay 
and actually what happened is that when you order for the pattern template ebook i am going to be sending it to your email address then um, after that you are going to go ahead and download the pattern template ebook so it will actually you are going to print it after download you are going to print it on an a4 paper yes your your our our a4 paper will definitely print all the designs that i have there so by the time it prints them all out all you need to do is just go ahead and then um, and then um, prints on a on um, begin to use of course as long as it has printed it i always advise that when you want to print whoever is helping you with your printer tell them please don't reduce it to his pattern i want it to be exactly what is there ensure ensure you keep saying that because if they increase it it will change it it will change it it will change it it will change it no the class is free yes Yes, gift. The class is free. I don't know whether Madam is Madam or because I know gift is actually, you know, male and female. So, ma or sa, I know I can see gift. <laughs> the class is actually a free follow up or class, you know, for anybody who buys the te pattern template ebook. So it's not like you are paying for any class, you know, attached to the pattern template class. No, no, you are not paying. It's a free follow up class. Is it? Okay, ma. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 I have the gift of God right life with me. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. Now you can see, you can see this, you know, you can see what I have right here. We have left and right. Don't forget <laughs> because that's another thing I noticed that we used to do great mistake. Hmm? When you place this like this, don't go and make mistake of placing the two of them like that too because you are not going to be having the same side so we have left and right you understand so don't make the mistake of actually leaving it you know just one way as you can see one is like this and the other one is like this you can see that they are not the same thing until you place it like this that's when it looks like it's the same thing and as you can see i'm placing right side to the right side so it'll be wrong to wrong side so what do we do now we're going to go ahead and then um, line now for this particular one i'm not going to be using this my grayish black color or ash black color for the for the strap i'm going to be using a black leather for the strap so this is what my strap look like but i'm going to be using black you know and i'm going to be using black to actually cut out that So I'm using black like I said. All you need to do is just go ahead and draw. Now you can decide to use the same color. It's not a big deal. You can use the same color, but for me, I'm going to be using two different colors. So I will be combining it with black. You will see the way it's going to be sweet. I mean sweet. So you're going to be having access to the strap as well. So for the strap, you can also increase it. Just place it this way. Draw. After drawing like this, you shift it a bit downward. You extend it. You shift it upwards and you extend it. So let me quickly show you what I mean by that. Yeah, battery, battery wanna go down. So let me quickly try to charge. So for the strap, I just quickly check my battery. I find out that it's almost going down. So I'm trying to just charge it up. So if you want to increase the strap, for example, let me use this to show you what you can do to it. So 
so what I have right here, just move it down. Depends on how long you want it to be. You understand? Okay, yes. How much is the ebook? The ebook. The ebook is actually seven thousand three hundred and fifty naira. The ebook is seven thousand three hundred and fifty naira. That is what the ebook costs. Like I said, it has over fifty different designs, and then um, it's ranked from children to adults. So, it's, so it's it's from children to adults. So you can decide to actually um, pick use for any 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 category of children. And also, I have templates there. I have so templates also right inside there. And coupled with the free follow up class, you are going to continue to be there. It's not like oh you are going to be in that class and off the class. No, you are going to be there as long as you want. That's one privilege you are going to be having. If you maximize it, you're going to enjoy it. The ebook is actually 7350 Oh, why is your phone going down? I had to actually charge mine. <laughs> I have to start charging it for us to be able to enjoy this. So, so you can actually you can actually reach out to me. You can reach out to me as well. You can reach out to me also on I am um, on my WhatsApp business. Yeah, you can reach out to me on my WhatsApp business. You can reach out to me if you love to actually know more about the pattern template ebook. And then um, it's actually zero eight zero zero eight zero. Zero eight zero two a m. No, that's not it though. Zero eight zero six eight eight nine zero six nine three. Yeah, that's my WhatsApp line. I hope you got it. So you can actually reach out to me there. So with what I have right here, you can see that I've already increased. I've already increased what I have here. I've already increased it. So it's the same process. When it comes to patterns, you can definitely increase. You can actually reduce as well. So it's not like there is a limitation to what you can do with a particular pattern. And that's what I'm trying as much as possible to help anyone who is starting with shoemaking. I don't want you to be stuck with, I cannot draw. With a previous pattern, I tell you that I built up by the grace of God how to create patterns just because of previous patterns that I had. You understand? And then with that, I believe that anyone can actually, you know, build themselves when it comes to pattern cutting. So you can see I position it this way. I position it this way. This was the position for the first one. The next one, you are going to position this way. Please ensure you don't. You, If you do it this way, you are going to definitely be struggling with how to position it because this look more like the right and this look like the left. Is it possible to get this morning session as a video? I am not guaranteeing that. <laughs> I am not guaranteeing that. Too. I am not. <laughs> I am not guaranteeing that. Too. I'm not. I'm not. And that's why I'm trying to share my um. That's why I'm trying to share my email address. I um, my um. WhatsApp business contact. You can just send me a WhatsApp message if you are live on this session. I know who has commented. So don't think if you send me a message, I will answer you if you did not comment on this video. If you comment, I think I saw three people. I saw Madam Gift. I saw Illumination TV. I saw, who did I see again? Um, I know I saw some other people too. Like three people or so. I think I saw just three, if I'm correct. So you can send me a... Uh, a WhatsApp message on my WhatsApp business, like I said, 080-688-90693. You can send me a WhatsApp message and then um, I will definitely see how I can give you access to this particular video. That is if you have commented and you are here. If not, please, so you might not get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I saw Godwin too. Of course. I know that I saw three people. I only saw three people commenting. I think, okay, yes, four. I saw Madame Fatima too. 
Yeah, yeah, I saw four. <laughs> I saw four. So, like I said, don't forget, this is going to be positioned this way. You understand? Or another thing you can do, just take a screenshot of what you commented on, under this post, why it is live. That's another thing you should do. Take a screenshot and come with it. I think that would be better. Take a screenshot of your comments and then come with it. Wow. Watching from Little Rock USA. Wow. It's so nice to have you right here. So just take a screenshot and send to my WhatsApp contact and I will surely give you access to the session. So when you position this this way, you definitely have to change it this way. You have to change it this way. Like I said, I am actually going to be giving us this particular pattern template for free with the strap, of course. I'm going to be showing sure you. It's a keto pattern template. I'm going to be sharing with us. So let me know where you're watching from. Also, let me know what your email address is. If you don't mind, you can just have it for free. And also, you will be using the same process I used to increase mine to increase yours as well so this is going to be our strap this is going to be our strap what do we do to the strap we're going to be cutting it out now don't forget that whatever the width of your strap is is what will determine your buckle size so if you don't have a buckle that is as wide as the strap that is attached to this pattern template i'm going to suggest you go ahead you understand just go ahead and then um, go ahead and um um reduce the width you understand and if you want to increase the width as well you can as well increase the width it's so amazing a lot of things you can actually do with this okay i'm still going to be showing you how you can actually increase the width of this and also reduce the width of this i am all out to make sure that every beginner has a good foundation when it comes to shoemaking yes with a good foundation you can definitely teach others like I am teaching you right here live from Nigeria. FCT Nigeria. You understand? So you too, you can actually do that to so many other people as well. That is the that is just the purpose of this. That's the purpose of this. So you can see what I have. So if you know, oh, I do not have a buckle that is as wide as this, I will better, I will prefer to reduce it. Now, this is what you should do if you want to reduce. If, I mean, if you want to reduce the width of this strap, probably your own buckle is not as wide as this. This is what you should do. Let me show you. Don't forget that we extended this initially. This is what you should do if you want to reduce. Just bring this down. Can you see the way I brought it down? Just, I mean, you can it has reduced in width. It depends on the width you want to use. Reduce it that way. Then, brothers. Then adjust it again downwards. Come to this side. And do the same thing. Now, with this, you can see that we have already reduced the width. We have reduced the width. So let me cut for you to see. Hula! You can see now that this is actually not as wide as this one. You can see? Can you see it? So you can actually reduce. And then um, if you want to increase, you can actually increase as well. You can increase as well. Yes, I mean you can increase as well. You can increase as well if you so desire. So what do you do when you want to actually increase? The same process. The same process you to, you, you actually see. Now it's like this. Just push it up a bit more. Push it up this way and you are going to be having a bigger size attached to it. Yes, I've already shared my WhatsApp number. I think it's 080 080 nine zero six nine three that's my whatsapp business line so feel free to send me a dm you want to know more about the pattern template ebook i was talking about so with this now you know what to do when you are creating a, a a smaller size or a higher size you definitely know what to do that's what it means so with this now we have our patterns ready we have our pattern ready wow 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 so don't forget you're going to be assessing this please let me know where you're
you are watching me from you have access to this and you're going to be using it to create your own size or whatever size you want to create so that is that now another thing that is part of this design is actually also a, a a particular strap or a particular black strap right here a particular black strap right here and that strap what you need to do is check what you have here this is about three centimeter the width is about three centimeters so i'm going to suggest that you use about two centimeter strap at the middle and then the the strap should be at the center of this particular point let it be at the center here so what do i do i'm going to place my um ruler right here and measure what it is from the center from this particular center here from the center of this particular you know at this particular position here so i'm going to just place my my ruler there this is actually about um 10.5 centimeter or 10 centimeter so i'm going to measure um a strap of leather which is 10 centimeter long and two centimeter wide because i don't want it to be exactly this particular size so if you don't want yours to be as wide as two centimeter it's fine and if you want it to it's fine as well it's fine as well it's fine as well so you can see my table full of patterns <laughs> it's so amazing it's full of patterns it's full of patterns so let's go ahead and work on this so what do we do now we are going to go ahead and also measure that i'm going to be show the reason i'm showing you this is because i want you to be able to know what exactly you understand to do with um the cutting so i said to we are going to be having two centimeter. You understand? Just measure your two. Although it's going to be for the two. So I'm going to go straight and do the two of them. So you have two, two. Let's come right up here. Now, let me check. Is it up to 10 centimeter? It's quite much more. So I don't really need that much. I need about 10.5. So I'm going to make sure that I maintain my 10.5. Because I wouldn't want to waste my leather in any way or i decide to use this part of my leather i decide to use this part so this is where my 10.5 is i think i'm good to go there i'm just going to place it right there i'm going to place it right there i'm going to place it right there so the same thing on this side just take your time please take your time to do this and then you will see the amazing results you're going to have So from this now, we have all our patterns complete. So there is nothing so special about any of all of this. So I believe with this, um, with this session, you should be able to, you know, have access to this. Don't forget, let me know where you're watching me from. If you care to have, you know, the pattern templates, let me know also in the comment section by actually writing out your email address i'll be sending it to your email then um you're going to just be increasing it to whatever size you actually want to work with now see what this looks like this is what we're going to be having here and then on this other side this is where now let me place it so that you can see what we have let's say we want to use this 
I hope this is what we are trying to create. So, you can see this. Oh, my WhatsApp number again, 080-080-688-688. You can see what it looks like. 080-688-906. Nine zero six nine zero six nine zero six nine three nine three nine zero six nine three. I hope you got that. Please let me know if you got that. So let me know if you got that. O eight O. O eight O six eight eight nine zero six nine three. All right, don't worry, I will try as much as possible. Yes, you can see this. You can actually reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram as well. So at GBFM for taste. So that's also fine. You can reach out to me right there too. So you can see what I have. So when it's like this, I'm going to be having one here. This is going to be attached to this place. I hope you can see this. This is going to be attached. And this is going to be... This is going to be attached right here. I'm sure you can see what this looks like. It's such a beautiful, as in, I, I actually made this in different combos. They are way so lovely. You can see this is going to be inner part. This is where the strap is going to be coming out into. You can see what it is. So definitely, this is what we're going to be having. Of course, you have to first of all line. You don't need to line this. You are going to just be lining this particular part. Okay, you also have, okay, all right, thank you. You can just reach out to me. I will definitely, Abby, give you more details about the pattern template ebook. So this is what I have. All you need to just go ahead and then, you know, last. I told us this is going to be free. So if you're actually in this live session, make sure you screenshot your, mes your message, your chat, so that that would be a guarantee that you were part of my live session. So please let me know, did you really enjoy this live session? Do you think it's something I should make available? Is this something I should do? you know all the time please let me know let me know let me know if you think i should do this you know once in a while just to you know let you know that there is a lot you can actually learn by being part of um, shoe making even if you're a beginner this doesn't it doesn't matter you don't have to go through the same struggle that those of course has gone through it so just latch onto the grace and they may enjoy this plenty grace that um <laughs> is available you understand and that's just the essence of the pattern template ebook so i'm still thinking about it if you if you think this is something i should do more often definitely i will do this and then um, i want all of us to be able to enjoy this so Oh, it's nice to have you, Terry. Nice to have you. Nice to have you. Oh, you're a beginner. Well, 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 well. It's good to have you. And I want you to know that shoemaking can actually be as simple as possible, provided you have, you know, a proper community where you get yourself, you know, to grow right in. That's just what you need. You don't have to start from complex designs. Start from simple design. I taught on some acts that you can maximize as a beginner. Some few, I think it was, was it last week? So I'll suggest you get to my channel right away. And then um, after this live session, go check it out. So that you will be able to know what you should maximize as a beginner. So that you don't have to struggle and feel, oh, this shoemaking is not for me. Well, it's easy to actually give up on everything you are just starting newly if you don't persistently or consistently you know try out new things so we can just go ahead and um, and um, line this yeah
garden major. So we are going to be talking about the lining. I know so many times I have had people ask me, Oh, madam, how do I differentiate between what you guys call lining and what you use as your, you know, main upper, I mean your upper leather. Now, I need you to know that when it comes to um, leather works, we have genuine leather. I'm going to give it a, a, a broad category. Like we have genuine leather, we have synthetic leather. So our genuine leather can actually different kinds of animal skins you understand so those ones are just tanned and then um, probably colored in one form or the other and then we'll be having access to them why the synthetic are not um, actually from any kind of them um, particularly they are made from probably chemical compounds i want to believe because so many of them are actually covered with polymer which makes you know it's impossible for water to penetrate into them so part of the yeah, and when it comes to synthetic leather, it doesn't mean that it's not durable. That's one thing I need you to work on to look at. So many times we hear synthetic leather and we think they are not durable. That's not correct. The fact that it's synthetic it doesn't mean it's not durable. You understand? But the first thing remains that there are a lot of processes that it has gone through. Uh, you know, understand? Even the genuine leather goes through different kind of processes. But... For me, I'm going to say, for me, what I'm using here is actually a synthetic leather. But a totally different grade from some other grade. When, you com when it comes to synthetic leather, they are actually in different grades. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this, it looks more like your hides and skin. <laughs> it looks like a genuine leather. I mean the wrong side. you find out that your genuine leather always look like this at the back. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Most genuine leather, you find them very hairy, you understand, and the edges are always very rough as well. Those are the ways you can actually identify a genuine leather. They are actually rough at the edges. This one is actually neat. <laughs> it's a bit neat, you understand, because of course it's not a genuine leather, you understand. Although some genuine leather, you just find out that their edges are rough. You just have to, that's why it has to go through a lot of treatment to make it look very perfect, you know, and neat. But this is actually a synthetic leather. But I want you to know that synthetic leather are in different grades. You have patent leather, you have fox leather. You have them differently in different categories, different names, and different grades. But the question now is, how do I know what grade to go for? How do I know? For me, for me, this is what I'm going to be suggesting for those of us who are in Nigeria. It's absolutely very easy for you because we have so many stores around us in Nigeria where we can buy shoemaking materials. All you need to do is to get to the store and then, you know, check them out. One thing I have seen a lot of people do in the market when they want to buy leather is they, they hold it this way and try to tear. And try to tear. And try to tear. If you can tear it conveniently, I will tell you to run away from such kind of a leather. If you can, if, because the truth is that even some genuine leathers, if you want to buy, if you hold it by the side and tear it, it will tear because I've bought, I have seen that before. I've checked and I've seen that before. You understand? So it's not like um, it doesn't um, lose its um, quality. Yeah, that's what I want to say. It doesn't even, even eyes and skin lose quality. So it's not like um, um, there's one. Um, thing that makes them specially different. It's just that one way or the other, when you treat them, when you polish them, they bring us one, you know, beauty, you understand? <laughs> That's one amazing thing about genuine leather. And then I find out that our synthetic leather is really competing in so many ways. So one way you can do that and check when you are buying is you can just try to tear. And another thing that I have found out is that most of our synthetic leather, if you drop water on it, it doesn't penetrate because the surface is covered with polymer. You understand? With like a rubber-like material. You understand? You can see the way it looks like. Like a rubber-like material. But don't forget, height and skin too, you can pull them this way. Yes, it does pull. And that's why we can easily use them for our shoes, our covered shoes, because you can easily pull them. There's a part you can pull. Some of them have parts you can pull. Some of them have parts you cannot pull. You understand? So that one even, even guides us on where, you know, to position our pattern when we want to create a covered shoe. Of course, we are not creating cover shoes. So I think I'm trying to just tell you how you can differentiate a good one and a bad one or a low grade one, so to say. So for this, the price is also another thing you have to um, look at. Like this, if you are buying in Nigeria, this is actually um, 3,000 naira per yard. 
A in Nigeria, this particular one, if I'm correct, if I am correct, because I find out that a lot of things that we are buying now are turned to something else, and you'll be amazed, 3,000, 3,500. All of this, I mean payad. And all of this one, they are actually um, the grade of um, um, 1,005. Now, for those who are not in Nigeria, I know you'll be wondering how much is 3,000 equivalent in dollar. That should be about, um, let's say, 6 or $7. I mean payad, not per square meter, payad. This that I'm having here per yard, which is about 36 by maybe 40, 40, um, 50 or so, because I'm not sure it's up to 60 or 60. You understand? So that is what the cost is, and this is about 1,500 naira to 2,000 naira, which is about um, three dollars. You understand about three dollars. So you can imagine with that, you can actually understand what the grades of the leather are. Of course, I would suggest you negotiate if you are in Nigeria. Please negotiate. If you are not buying online, you can negotiate. So please negotiate it before you go ahead and buy. So what I do, what 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 you can do. Please go and tell those children to stop. That's why they are shouting. So sorry for the breaking transmission. I had to find a way of position. We have already, you know, cut all of this out. I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply my contact cement at the sieve on all of those surfaces.
So with this now, we can just go with this. I'm just going to go ahead and position it. I have had so many. Of course, you can decide to actually apply it on, on the two of them. But I am not going to be doing that. That's why I will not wait for it to dry up at all. I'm just going to place it on it. I have done this over and over and it works perfectly well for me. You can decide to actually apply on the two sides if you are not intending to stitch. Even if you are intending to stitch, you can decide to apply it on the two sides. You know, I mean on the lining as well as on the upper. So sorry for that break. We had to. I had to quickly fix my phone. Knowing fully well my phone for this live session so just bear with me so this is what i have and then also on this side we are doing the same thing so i gotta be careful here so that it doesn't come meeting this one so if you have any question you would love to ask me please go ahead and ask and if you are just coming to my live session for the first time, please let me know. And let me know if you think I should do this more often here. So that you begin to see um, the videos, the way I do this without um, any form of, um, you know, editing. <laughs> so you can see, view it live without editing at least you can see what's happening how i go about all of this please note you can apply on this and also apply on the lining i just actually choose to do this this way like i said we are not going to be lining this we are not going to be lining this So you can see this so we are not going to line this so this is going to be right here at the center here and this is going to be also here right at the center so I'm going to be using this to hold it down here. Just a little to hold it down so that I can stitch easily. That's the essence of actually um, using that. So the next thing is just to stitch and go ahead. And last. So definitely I'm going to be stopping this live session here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And then... Um, I am going to see you next time. Thank you so much. And I still remain your shoe making made easy to talk. Oh, do really mojibola. I'm going to see you next time. All right. All right. See you. Bye. Bye. I'm not sure I can see all the